Mods installed correctly. Alrighty. Where's me chat? Looks like we're good. Looks like it's working out for me. Wait a second. What's up, Plank? What's up, Peach? Doing a quick stream today, because it's been a minute since I've actually played a campaign, and apparently this one's pretty funny, unintentionally so, uh, because it involves furries. Now, furries in Hotline Miami have had a parallel relationship for a while because, uh, I think it attracts a lot of furries with the whole humans wearing animal masks on their head and a lot of furries just translate to, to straight up well, humanoid animals <laughs> and uh, that's awful <laughs> so uh, there's not this is not the first one I remember one from way back and I used his bus in human being too uh, but it was a lot smaller but there was like you were like a female furry dog thing so I got, I got his music mod I got his uh, patch wad on because you know why not I swear to god where is it okay four stories here we go remember hotline e621 I don't know Cock and ball torture. Hey, you finally caught a stream. What's up, Dr. Evo Robotnik? They still aren't here with your fucking pizza? Uh, technically, no. They, that pizza isn't here yet. Or ever. So let's get started. This should be a real quick stream. I got shit to do. A uh, bigger. <laughs> cool story, bro. <laughs> Is that Nikolai? Is that Hunter Red Star Nikolai? Um, put edges on your carpets, folks. But, uh, does this make uh, 23rd the official Rob Salmon Plays Cringe Campaigns Day? Uh, it could be, sure. Uh, yeah, the Questionable Streams campaign is exactly a year ago today. And if I wasn't so busy, and if there was better s cringe to play, I'd play more than just this. Hey, it's Tony from Hotline Miami. You would like it. Need to go now. Some stuff. Got some stuff to do at my place. Got a raging boner I need to take care of. Just don't be late to the party. <laughs> it's gonna be late. It's gonna be lit. Come on, fellow Zoomers. Oh, is that is that you're still sore about that plasma rifle? I made it. All right. This makes me worried. It's just another hunter. Ooh, look at the dynamic lighting. Does this this tile scheme is very hunter but it's not bad it's actually has some quality to it and it's it's creation oh look at the plants the new trees toxic to featuring toxic coffee uh, this man in my streams how do you do fella kids are you ready for that lit party uh oh is this gonna be one of those where you can't go through the front door? Uh, right off the bat, we were with the tropes. No, wait. You're gonna have to excuse my awful skill with it. It's been a minute. I've been in college and. Despite me only doing four of the five classes they suggested me taking this semester, I am swamped with work. And, yeah, so things have been going slow for me. Where did I put my gun?
fact that it is a dodger. I hate this. I, I mean, if you've watched my streams, you know I hate this. Alright. Just dodger in a room. Okay. So, not bad level design. Say so party wasn't that good. It's too bad. Rub is good at Hotline Miami, too. <laughs> I'm glad you're back, Foose. You're keeping me humble. I love this one, but I haven't seen this many green carpets since the lesbian orgy. The Dodger needs his own room. No one wants to hang out with him. He's that guy at the party who uh, just sits at the wall. Chicken in the corner. Did I miss an Easter egg? Okay. So this is where the red flags start showing up. You play that part, and you're like, all right, not bad. This is a decent campaign. And then you're here, and you're like, Oh no! Oh no! Ah, it's here. The eyes! It's the eyes and the just the wackadoo smile. <laughs> <laughs> Dodgers commit tax evasion, dodge everything. Damn, I didn't know Dodgers were based. I did it. They won't be bothering again. Oh no, you being bullied for being rude? Wow, mom. Thanks. I didn't expect you actually did it. Oh, I was just joking. I didn't mean for you to kill everybody. Oh god. I'm an accomplice to murder now. This town uh, this town under their command is not a good thing. I, this has gotta be done by like this isn't native. Dude, look at the... I can't point at it, but there's a paw print on a piece of paper. <laughs> Why is she cross-eyed? Because she's a furry. She's been fucked by, like, donkey dick six ways this Sunday. Fox's friends in the U.S. have the rooter. This town... Yeah, the... It's... The, like, punctuation is really the easiest part of the English language. Like... It just comes after the word, so I don't know why there's a space. Does Russian not have punctuation? Alright. Admittedly, I didn't- Oh, hey! Get back to the classic songs. And, uh, I believe this was Yank from Jaden. Oh, Jaden po posted all of those words on Reddit. Hey, squatting! Yeah, like all the punctuation here. Either when he was like translating this to English, then it can carry right? Bro, this combo feels like a felony. Their mouth doesn't move when they're speaking. Uh, maybe it's just the one in a suit. There's the boss. Reskinned gangbanger. There's no space. Fox did this too. I don't. Punctuation's easy, y'all. What's up, my man? What's up? My N word. I bring bad news. Yeah. <laughs> my, my face when I see this campaign's got furry stuff. Yeah. We, celebrate... we were celebrating at that house in the woods. I went out for a moment. I come back and. Everyone is dead. Ugh! By a furry? Ugh! What's up, Emmanuel Lopez? Dropping an F for the drunk, punch your death by that fat. And we'd make a better animated fur mouth. <laughs> Don't. This is a joke, right? Yeah, I got your bus. Oh, shit. That was happening. The ultimate badass. <laughs> it sounds familiar, doesn't it? Bro, 
Russians have recently been crossing into our turf. So these guys aren't Russian then, huh? What are these? Ukrainians? Kazakhstanians? Bosnians? I don't have to teach my lesson. Remember to bring some greens. Some, some green beans. <laughs> also, Bosch, did you know this is? Bosch has had a shit accident. Alright. It's not bad the way you did the fonts. When you mess with me, you mess with the pack! Ow! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh oh. Did I say Montana? Is this the, Mon the, the Montana crime family? Where'd he go? Did I shoot him? What the hell? This song sounds super copyrighted. One of these days, these shitty campaigns are gonna get me struck down. This is. The levels aren't bad looking. This ain't bad looking. In the slightest. Jacket, do I get the drill? Hello. I think I've heard this exact song 20 times before. Synthwith really does blend together. I actually need to turn it down, it's kind of loud. Um, I, uh, What, like to study, I just constantly play those 24-hour like synthwave streams and those one-hour mixes, and it just it just blends together. It's like eight different noises that synthwave has. No. Ah, God, I didn't think I would be this rusty. No. I got lucky as fuck there. He broke his neck so fast. Fuck. Off screens. Whee! Way rustier than I thought I would be. It's only been like a week. So... so maybe I was never good to begin with. Some people would argue. Okay, where is this dude? Yeah, it's blasted. I feel like it's in that corner. Like every time I stop to look for off screen guys, I do want to drill someone's fucking snogging. Get drilled. There we go. There are you. Ah. Get greedy with it. <laughs> Hello. I would say that this level's got pretty good spacing. I like the color scheme. The, the white, light blue, and yellow. 
It works. When it's just doing. Oh. Alright. Eat that entire bag of money. Shove it up my ass. Zaya inwards be like, <laughs> level as edges, they can't run it. Is Zaya really? All these, all these lights and all these edges. Hey, I actually changed the arrows too. That's cool. That's been something uh, I've been thinking for a human being is like, what the hell am I going to do with the arrows? I have no idea. I want them to be unique because that's cool, but. Uh oh. Ooh, you're busted, bro. What are good color schemes? Ah, it's hard to put into words. Um, what a good color scheme is. This level has a level in it. <laughs> yeah, really. Any, basically, if it's Hotline Mammies, I can't run it. Oh, C plus. I am not playing this very well. Main suspect of the massacre at the Neon Aether Coils. Okay. You know, it's funny because he was like, oh man, one dude just took out a ton of guys. And then he goes and just takes out a ton of guys. Alright. Cricket boy. I heard you dealt with those thugs. They were just heavily drunk. Oh, and he's got a girlfriend. That's not true. Furries don't like have girlfriends. Oh, here's the line. He said it. He said the thing. Is this the cameo bar? Yeah, so this is the dude who created it. I remember looking at his profile, and it's Sin. Let's check that out. Let's see if it's... Oh, God. Oh, fuck. <laughs> so it's like, oh, this campaign's that. Oh, no. So. That's this boy. I, I, did, I did my research on this campaign. Is that Danny? I don't think so. Probably all his furry friends. I don't like those wood walls. We gotta get Pyrocynical to play. Get Pyrocynical to do some Hotline Mammy. Breathe some light into this. Why is the door open? My furry suit! It's gone! What happened to my furry suit? You owe us some pay or you won't see her again. Oh no. Meet us at the Mountain View camp. Mountain Dew camp. It's a lie for his our friends. They stole our fursuits. And they cut off our girlfriend's head. Shannon there. No fucking way! Looking at the chat there. It's a Jewish camp. Uh oh. So this is Montana. And I feel like two song. I, I feel like some other song is playing over Rolling Lobster right now. Sounds like a remix, I guess. Alrighty. The cops steal him. This is the Scuttle remix of Rumble Mobster. Yeah, I can. I knew it was a remix of some sort. Okay. Easy peasy. Scuttle makes a shit ton of music. He's like the only one still making music regularly. But he puts out a ton of these albums a year, and they're like. I don't know. There's rarely like a really good song in it. I feel like he should slow down. Grab that gun. Color schemes aren't bad. This makes me think of a dappy level, like color scheme wise, so it, it's very close. Um, this is the easiest level so far, though. Cops putting up the least of the fight. Ah! That's gun badger. 
Get any melee weapons? Got one all the way. Ah! Get over here. Look at that, it's too easy. It looks like you retired. <laughs> that door locked? Ah! You guys see that? You see me shooting the door and it wasn't opening? Which radio held out of my source? Oh god. Plank memes are leaking into my chat. Which Fallout game is the best? Uh, probably New Vegas. I don't give a shit about the isometric ones. Ah, uh, here we go. This is why I'm breaking in. To yell at, uh, not Nikolai. Not you. Um, this this song was in Hunt. It was in Hunter Snowfall. You could set them to locked, but I went through it. There's a paper of how Hotline Maybe Love we randomly generated. It's all based. Is it like a Python script? That'd be interesting. Um, that's I don't know if you've heard of Project Richter. Um. That was a that was what Hotline Miami 2 was gonna be originally, which was just like randomly generated levels. But Denaton is not good at, at coding, so the randomly generated levels would be funny though. Like if it was just like just a mess. <laughs> this is the hunter song. This is when anytime um, Yosef wants to talk about uh, religion. You killed my friends. Friends? What are those like? Man, look at yourself. Dirty clothes. Homeless, space comma, working for a shitty gang. You didn't have those stripes they had. <laughs> you haven't earned your stop, your cheeky breaky Slavic stripes. Yeah, you got told off, Nikolai. How did they find her? seem different. There's something special in you, Baldi. I just killed an entire police station. I am public enemy number one. Honestly, if a man murdered his way through a police station to break me out of prison, I'd do what he said too. So, hard to f I'll default Nikolai here. Devin chat, Devin chat, what's up, bro? That face when you betray your friends. <laughs> Be careful. There are a lot of guards inside. I was promised more furry action. Instead, I'm given uh, well spaced levels with. Oh, it's a good thing you betrayed your friends, um, and didn't stand up for them. They did. Poor him. They treated him really good. But you say you didn't like him. Look at this massive ass plot hole, boy. Furries is still funny, Normie. <laughs> I hope Nikolai just gets to the end. He'd just be vibing, though. Yeah, he's just vibing. They vibing through the doors. Could she be? Double kidnapped. They don't have a lot of hideouts in this part of the country. The Montana gang. He's always sad. He was sad. He never liked him. 
but he's sadly dead. But Spencer isn't a virgin. <laughs> Spencer's got that virgin mentality. Gonna get trouble. Spencer has a very successful Kickstarter. He's doing better than I am. Everyone's excited to play his black and white edgy simulator. And I am too. I'm curious how it's going to turn out. <laughs> it looks like he's wearing a wig. Because <laughs> it's the beard hair, but his chin is like six inches higher than beards. I, <laughs> this is great. Is I, Spencer Yan, humbly submit a toast to Midnight Animals for successfully using my code to make their own versions of the game. Congratulations, Mada. Enjoy your MA mods. <laughs> question is, was Spencer ever made school counselor? Is it it? <laughs> so who this guy? I like the TV. This is cool. Hello. Don't you feel guilty? What's your favorite movie? I think you've got the wrong number. Yeah, if anything, it may dev or makes it the community's version of the Andrew Dev. Oh, we're gonna get the ghost character? Is this the edgy ghost character now? It was a prank. I'm gonna assume this is our uh, wolf boy. With the LGB wolf mask. Okay, her <laughs> girlfriend's <laughs> girlfriend's car is pink. What is this? Are we on Venus now? I mean, I guess those are hay bales, but is this sand? Trash house level in conjunction with dream level. What is this? Requiem? Of course, not counting HP. Why doesn't everyone take advantage of the ridiculousness of some dude murdering a house full of monsters by taking make fun of instead of being deep and edgy? I think the uh <clears throat> hey, it's the uh I forget his name, but it's the hunter boy with no eye sprite, I think. It's the same concept. Oof. You do remember us. Say it. Fuck you. Finally. Mr. Salmon, when will you start selling body pillows? I need to get a merch store open, don't I? Uh, Pax of Coffee actually made a human being shirt. I should get one. Aaron. Are these... Fuck did you say to me, you little shit? You and Bean Merch, where you at? Where can I find this campaign? It's called The Forest Stories? It's it's on the front page right now. So was I like a SWAT officer? I wasn't paying attention. Boosh. We got Darn it! design. Ah! Okay, I keep thinking I'm the dude below. I think it... Alright. 
a second. <laughs> the furry squad. Furry death squads. The year is 2025. Furry death squads. Sweep the nation, eliminating all who like human vaginas. Come here. <laughs> no. It's a very cramped level compared to the old ones. I'm less intrigued at this one. Is this a Payday 2 stealth song? You know what? I think I think it might. I think it might be. Level design. I also want to take the time to say I really hate the croucher enemy type. I think they're very tedious. And even though they're used sparingly in the main game, I think they're tedious there. Just to get them to stand up when you want them to. Ah! Is big gay. Yeah. They're just not a fun enemy type to shoot and fight because they're very static and oftentimes they slow everything down. Especially if you like put them behind a barricade. I could think of only one in the entirety of Human Being 3 right now and it's not, he's like within punching range. Ah, oh, that fat has a gun, that's right, okay. <sighs> this level sucks. Fuck you. Deadhead hard mode is only good because use of duckers. Yeah, the, that design is clearly like the one thing that they came up with to use them. And that's why you don't see them anywhere else in the campaign other than uh, TakeOver. And they're in TakeOver because I think they're just trying to make a level as hard as possible. And they're not even that big of a burden in TakeOver. That's the only spot they're at, right? As far as I can think of. And then every level designer ever in the editor was like, you know what would be cool? If I put them behind a table. Yeah, that looks cinematic. Because, you know, you, like, you flip the table over and you shoot. Die off screens. Right. Neat. More cops dead. They appear in Blood Money too. Uh, do they? Oh yeah, they are. It's like specifically to pin you down. To have them just annoying to clear a room. 
Now this is the uh <laughs> They're living together! Hey babe. I made eggs. <laughs> The worst enemy type is the gun dodger. Yeah, because the a they didn't finish the AI. It's a shame. Because they're a very interesting concept. But if you had them not, like, so, so where it is right now is if they lose track of you, the next time they see you, they instantly shoot at you from any direction, which is just broken. Um, and they can lose track of you very easily. But also, like, it'd be cool if they had to, like, reload to give a... Uh, like some some respite when they shoot at you, so you can br close the distance. I don't know something else. Hey guys, Rob's almost at 2k. Very close. I have been hovering at 198 or 1980 something for a very long time, and that's mostly because I haven't made a video in a while. Hopefully. <laughs> I like the idea that it's like, it's like the girlfriend, like, he, first he's sleeping on the couch and their beds get closer and closer together as this campaign progresses. <laughs> but it's my new furry boyfriend. <laughs> I'm getting PTSD from this. <laughs> you think they're gonna take their glasses off and stare deep at each other's art? Eyes castle? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, don't be, don't be that mean, please. <laughs> Tell me more about yourself. I'm just nutting your asshole. Now I'm curious. My name is Blake. Fuck Blake. I'm gay, and this representation is bad. Says Zaya Phillips. Zaya, once again, reminding everyone that he is, in fact, the homosexual. <laughs> oh really, husband? Step siblings, cut! <laughs> During the drug war, the Great Montana Drug War. I land on the streets. I've been raised by hobos. <laughs> raised by hobos. <laughs> I'm thinking like Mowgli from the the Jungle Book, but it's just two hobos. <laughs> Gamer time. I was their henchman. Well, Blake. Hey, he is making breakfast. You want some eggs, sugar? It'd be an international manhunt for this guy. Raised. I was r raised by hobos on a diet of whiskey and dollars. Right. This really is the Miami Menace. Like two bit, two gay guys get ready to get ready to finish this once and for all. There's no eggs to be fertilized here, just assholes to get gummed up, foos. Right, next to San Francisco. Perfect, that's the big gay cup population, San Francisco. It was a joke, what? Can't tell jokes anymore? Uh, oh no, this song, here it is. I have a stroke when this song plays now, because it's in Miami Horror, and uh... Ah! Ooh, cool, they got the henchman guy. That's neat. Get him! Sick him! Get him! Ah, oh, you missed. Hey, hey, hey. Get him, boy. Ah, you got him. Nice. Ooh. 
Oh, does he turn invisible? What the hell? Get our SWAT ninja weaves. Ghost. Where did I put my gun? There it is. I'm not gonna say the story is incomprehensible, because I didn't pay too close attention to it. But that's a dude in black. That is a different faction than anything we've seen so far. Ah! This is just a different... Why do they have his girlfriend? Why is... Why was there a furry story element to this? This seems a very... A very generic Hotline Miami type story of murder and everybody. Where did the furries come in? I'm so confused. Crap. Okay. Oh boy. Me alone, ghost. I might actually be stuck here. Ain't afraid of ghosts. That's a pretty decent engagement. There's no melee weapon, Zaya. Dodger at the spawn. Doesn't take any crazy. Alright. God. That was a big mistake, pal. Now I have a machine gun. Oh! Ayo. Why is everyone saying how? Ah! I was looking at chat. Okay, this melee dude's at the top. Yeah, I, for whatever reason, I didn't think that there was anyone in that other room. Yeah, well, at least I'm not a pansy in real life, Saya. So. Pansy. Fuck you. Come on. I'm dating myself. <laughs> oh. Oh. I did it. Okay, where's this shotgunner that keeps ending me? There he is. Okay, 
That's how he gets stuck. Oh no, just, just delays there. Sam and which hotline game is better? Two. Forever. Two forever. I love one's aesthetic and as a single experience, but two is the better game. Please. Can't see. So dark. He's down there. Guns everywhere. Right. I like this dude smoking, just really enjoying the, the statue, the beauty, that art. I haven't seen a level this spread open since I met Fusu's mom. Pro tip, if you can shoot enemies through more than one layer of windows, your level design sucks. That's actually a pretty good uh, rule in general. If, uh, maybe to put it in another way, if you can kill most, if you can kill like most enemies without them ever knowing you're there, you might want to reconsider your level design. What is shooting at me? Okay, what is that magnum? I actually killed the fat. Cool. What was that magnum? Is that some like scripted event? Ooh, that's. How did the how did this level get made right after that other level that was like a sardine can? Alright. Ah, uh, no bullets issued, did it? Did they? Look, it's their snuff film location. But theirs doesn't have a prisoner that explodes in it. Like Human Being 2's does. Now available in the Steam Workshop. Alright, cool, we're clear. <laughs> Sorry, Foos. I, I, I couldn't resist the burn. This kind of reminds me of like that one human being one level with yellow and black, although way better. Oh, he really is Nikolai here. Hey bro, dude. <sighs> Wait up! How can you run so fast? Damn. I made mean, these jokes and then like the dialogue next line just lines right up for me here. Dimiton patch. They used to patch it. Not anymore. That's what if Dimiton I yeah, that's like Don't touch this game's code. Ever again, Denaton, because I, whatever you change, I am positive will fuck something else up for the editor and probably make everything we've ever worked on obsolete and un unusable. So, other than releasing the source code to the world, don't touch it. And sure. Three, two, one. Reaching clear. Go, go. <laughs> Look at this, Chad. Ah, shit. I hope this is the end, because I gotta go really soon. 
This went longer than I thought it would be. Like, we had this joke. <laughs> it's the VIP guard and the Petro. Like, we had this j as a joke for the longest time. That, that hair combining two hairstyles. Dude! I can't believe you've done this. Alright. Oh, God. Is that your girlfriend? <gasps> uh oh. She's sleeping. Well, your girlfriend's been deflowered by the Russian mob. It ends with an implied rape, and I get an F. <laughs> uh. Uh. <laughs> Man, I am really bad at Hotline Miami. Um, but I also need. Oh, hey! He got a beard. Here comes the bomb. I I, I, I might have skipped through it. Beard clone. We don't get a lot of beard clones. Yeah, is there a bomb or can I skip this because I gotta really go? I gotta go to dinner. Wrong took so long to beat the level of character <laughs> legit. Ed. Oh no, I just skipped it. Shit. It looks like he's breaking up with her. The girl is Russian, so he dumps her. Ah, oh, that's. <laughs> Jeez, you played a racist the whole time. I didn't know this guy was a fellow gamer. Well, I guess Blake gets the uh, furry QT pie. <laughs> So he just dumps her after all that. What brand of glasses? Ugh, dude, they're like the most cheap ass glasses. Like, there's nothing fancy. No N words in the stream, I'm sorry. Yeah, damn. There's no N words in this stream. What are we gonna do about that, guys? Um. Damn. You fucking. Yeah. Fucking based. Oh, you're Russian? <laughs> well, you see, I'm racist as hell. I can't be dating a Russian. Bye. See ya. Nit. 